Hey guys, you know what I've not done in a while? I've not started a new LP in a while. Hey everyone, it's Mendez here and I just decided to start a new LP. This is Terraria. This is um, a new indie game. It's now available on Steam. Uh, it's supposed... It's pretty highly thought of. I've, not, I've, I've heard only good things about it. It's apparently similar to Minecraft in that you can dig, explore, things like that, build, fight, things like that. Um, so I'm I'm hoping to enjoy this. Let's step in and create a character. Let, let's change the hair colour. Oh wow, we got like full actual customization of whatever we want the hair colour to be. I'm gonna go with a nice purple colour for the hair style. Hair colour thingy. Uh, yeah, there we go, we got nice purple hair. I, I can change the eyes, even though the eyes are probably like one pixel in size on my character. You know, it's very important that we have uh, red eyes, probably. I don't know, I'm just picking random colours here. <laughs> Let's go with red eyes. Let's change the skin. Okay, no, I'm going to leave the skin as it is, because I don't really want to... Actually, uh, I'm going to tone the red down a bit. No, I'm not. I want to make it paler, but I don't really know how to do that. I think you have to turn everything up, isn't that it? Yes, that's it. Okay, so there we're a bit paler. Uh, this is the customization. It's pretty awesome. We've got shirts, color. This is pretty. This this, this customization is actually pretty neat. <laughs> I'll give it that. Um, I don't know what color shirt I want. Oh, I could have a pink shirt. No, it's not a pink shirt. Let's have a darkish coloured shirt. It's not quite black, but pretty, pretty dark greyish. Let's put everything down to around about 100-ish. That uh, should do it. Undershirts. Let's, uh, well, let's let's put that to about the same. I don't really want to. I don't really want my sleeves to be a different colour, as I can see from the model. This is this is like the pinnacle of entertainment. Watching me pick random colours here. <laughs> I have absolutely no sense of style, by the way. So I'm just gonna like. Just gonna pick things at random. Just have him wearing all black, all like all dark greyish. Mm, that actually seems like a decent idea. Is there no way of changing these directly? No. Nope. So you have to use the minus and plus buttons. Well, that's not too bad, I guess. You know what? Um, I'm gonna make it a nice, nice turquoisey, turquoisey greeny color. There we go. There's my character. <laughs> And now I've created that, we click create button and he needs a name, so let's uh, let's name the character. And we have a character, and now we need a world. How big do we want the world to be? Uh, let's go small, I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, worlds are also randomly generated, just like Minecraft. Um, I need a world name. Um, I don't know! Okay, so the world is called I don't know. <laughs> We're resetting, we're making random holes, generating random caves, creating an underground journal, creating an underworld. Uh, things are going so fast that I can't read them. And it's crashed! Wow! Let's try this again. Maybe just didn't like my world name. Maybe I should use an actual world name like the LP world. Okay, resetting game objects, world terrain, placing rocks, placing caves, jungles, and then underworld. And then, please don't crash? A dungeon making the world evil. Okay, it's got further than it did last time. That's good. Okay, we got a world. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm not... I'm Okay, that crashed just then. I'm going to say it probably wasn't Terraria's fault or anything like that. It's probably my terrible, terrible computer. Um, as I'm saying, I'm still playing this on my laptop, so what do we have? Okay, I've got a wooden pick that's flashing, which I can swing around like crazy. <laughs> I've not seen any gameplay for this, by the way. I really have no idea what I'm doing. Whoa! What can I? Oh, okay, so that's like so that's just like your blocks in Minecraft. So I'm going to dig myself out of this hole. So just like Minecraft, I've got myself into a hole, and now I'm digging myself out of it. This is like the start of every Minecraft uh, adventure. I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing. I have an inventory at the top. I've got sand, so I can create things with sand. I can. Can I place this sand? Yes, I can. I can make a nice wall. Can I, like, even if I'm out of range? No, I have to be pretty close to where I want to put it. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. I've got an axe and a pickaxe. Oh, and I need to be clicking right on the thing to actually destroy it. Okay. Learning things. Um, I think 
that we're supposed to be digging down or something. What's that? Ah, that's a thing. Ah, it's a thing. Go away, thing. Ah, go away, thing. Go away, thing. Okay. Thing's dead. Not sure what that was. It, it's given me some gel. Okay, it was a gel. It was a gel. So your, your typical gel from a um, Japanese RPG or something. So we're going to dig down. <laughs> I'm going to approach, I'm going to use my Minecraft approach and just dig straight down until I find something pretty cool. And then we'll see what we can do. I really have no idea what this game's like. <laughs> I don't think it's I don't think it has any objectives. I think it is like literally just similar to Minecraft in that you can just um, do whatever the heck you want. And that unfortunately is going to mean that I'm not going to be very good at this because I'm not particularly entertaining. I need torches. That's what I need. Is there a menu or anything? No, not that I can see. Oh, there we go. I've got my inventory pressing escape. So I've got sand, I've got gel, which is both tasty and flammable. Stone blocks, dirt blocks, coins. Um, there's crafting down there. I don't really know what that's about. Can I like... Okay, I just dropped my sand. <laughs> I need torches. Uh, the torches are something I need. How can I get torches? I did have a quick look on the Terraria wiki, and I couldn't really see anything um, about like the crafting system. Or maybe I just wasn't looking the right place, but I, it seemed to be a more of a everything will be explained in game kind of system. Okay, I can just do that. Okay, let's just put that there. Uh, maybe I should chop some trees down and see what happens from this, because. Like, I, I really need probably coal or something, I I'm not sure. Do these trees break? Because I'm kind of hitting it with an axe. There we go. Lots and lots of wood. That's what I like to see. So you just hit it in one go and go away, gel. Go away, gel. Yeah, get over there. Get, 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 don't you come over here. Yep. My pickaxe was doing more damage, wasn't it? That's Switch to the pickaxe, okay. Die gel! Okay, yeah, the pickaxe does more damage for some reason. You'd assume an axe would do more damage on enemies than a pickaxe, but I don't know. Wouldn't you? I'd have thought you would. Okay, this, I can see the sun flying through the sky up there. Flying through the Who are you? You're a guide. Um, can I talk to you? Okay. I'm here to give you advice on what to do next. Oh, thank you! <laughs> That's really helpful. It is recommended that you talk with me anytime you get stuck. Help! You can use your pickaxe to dig through dirt. Your axe to chop dead trees. Place your curfew over the. There's a gel coming! Go away! 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 Oh! Damn it, I got hit! Okay, I have life. 68 out of 100. I'm gonna talk to you again. You'll need to create weapons and shelter. Just chop down trees and gather wood. Uh, I do have some wood. Okay, I'm gonna. Okay, let's gather wood. <laughs> That's going to be the goal of this moment. Oh, lot, there's a lot more enemies than in Minecraft, I'll, I'll, I'll give it that. Uh, um, but yeah, this looks like a pretty damn good game, actually. Um, hopefully I can get this tree down before that gel manages to... Okay, that gel's stuck down there. Ha! You can't hit me! You can, on the other hand. So I'm going to switch out to my pickaxe, which is a much more reliable weapon. And... It doesn't look like my weapon's going to break. I don't see a durability meter on my weapon. Oh, it, it made it up! What the hell? It made it up. You're not supposed to be able to make your way up. They do seem to have um, upgraded the graphics since I last saw some screenshots of it, because last time I saw some screenshots of it, they were using all the Final Fantasy 1 um, sprites where you had the fighter as the main character. So that seems to have sorted itself out. They probably had to do that to, get, to sell it on Steam anyway. Um, so let's dig trees! Digging many trees! There's some vines over there. I'm gonna go check out these vines. Oh, there's a, there's a piece of dirt there. <laughs> I've got lots of items. Let's have a look at items. I'm not really sure. Oh. Okay, so that's just like instant destroy of vines and you don't get to pick them up again. Okay. Uh, there's, there's weird patterns in the dirt, like there, where my cursor is. I'm not really sure what that's about, but for now... Um, yeah, no... Oh, damn it! Oh, you can't hit them through, like, dirt or either. That's, that's actually pretty clever. 
All right, so let's carry on back here. We need, okay, we got we got lots and lots of wood. Like I've got 74 wood. 74 wood. I'm just gonna repeat that number over and again. 74 wood, okay. Guide, <laughs> you, you, you're drowning and I'm drowning with you. Um, press escape to access your crafting menu. When you have enough wood, make, create a workbench. That's a crafting table. This will allow you to create more complicated things as long as you're standing close to it. Okay, so let's make a crafting table. Um, oh, I've got crafting down here. Oh, I can make torches and gels and something. Workbench. Workbench, I need... What? I, I just made two workbenches. Whoops. <laughs> Not sure why I thought that was a good idea, but okay. Uh, so, to use it, I need to put it on the first row. Is that what I'm seeing here? Yes, it is. Okay. So let's put that down. Okay, I need a good place to make a... I don't really want to... Um, I will go too far away from my guide because the guide is kind of useful. So I'm going to make my. Uh, this is going to be my home. This this like divot here. This like little notch in the ground, if you will. So let's put that down. Can I put that down? I'd like to put that down. There we go. So now I can make more complicated things. Somehow, guys, tell me what to do. <laughs> guys, tell me how to do it. Oh, chill! Damn it! Yeah, you just stand still while I kill you. Okay, you can build a shelter by placing wood or other blocks in the world, okay. That's fine. Once you have a wooden sword, you might try to gather some gel from the slimes. Okay, I need a sword. Combine wood and gel to make a torch. Okay, so I need to create a house. I need to create a sword. I'm gonna just dig into this, like, ground over here. Why is that, why is the like, random floaty dirt there that I can walk through? Is that just showing that it used to be dirt, or something like that? Okay. This is my shelter. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna need, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my other crafting table down, because I made one by accident, so why not? Two crafting tables. Now the wood. Wood, wood, wood. Uh, uh, oh, gel! Need to get my pickaxe out! Damn it! Ah, die gel! <laughs> These gels are overpowered, seriously. Oh, green slime. Oh, you can see the names by mostly over them. Ooh. How did I not notice that? I have no idea. I'm dying. <laughs> I'm dying very rapidly. Okay, so here is my shelter. Uh, one thing I will say about this is that the crafting system is fairly um, demanding in terms of you need to put it exactly in the right place or else nope. Nope. Okay, there's my door. I'm uh, just going to make a little... Okay, I need to get my pickaxe out and just dig this out. I just want a nice little flat front yard really. That's all I want here. Nice flat front yard. Maybe I should make it like maybe I should make the walls like too thick. I don't really know if there's anything like creepers or anything that are gonna blow everything up. Uh, but just in case, I should probably be prepared. Um, that's gonna look ugly, so I'm gonna destroy that. Hopefully, I get my okay. I need okay. You absolutely need an axe to get rid of wood. That's pretty neat. That's something that Minecraft doesn't have. You can destroy anything in Minecraft without anything. That's pretty neat. Uh, so I'm going to make this too thick. Too thick. Yep. Do I have enough wood? Yes, I do. Good. It's good that I have enough wood. Let's put that down there. And we have a nice little shelter. Which is good because it's just getting dark. Um, now what do I need to do? Let's go to the crafting thing. I could make torches. I could make a sign. Make a wooden chair. Oh, that's a lot of... Okay, I'm gonna make some torches out of all my gels because I just I like I like torches. I like being lit. <laughs> oh wow, you can actually hold the torch. That's amazing. That's something Minecraft needs. That is something Minecraft very much needs. Let's just put like three on there. I want a nicely lit house. Nicely lit house. Can I put them on the, the ceiling? No, I can put them on the floor though. Can I destroy that again? I really wish I could. Do I really have no way of picking that up? 
How do I... Oh, right, right click to click someone item. Okay. The gels can still get in my house. <laughs> come on, come on. Bring it on. Bring it on, bitch. Yeah, that's it. You weren't expecting that. Guide? Oh, I can probably, like, I can probably, like, uh, build a door. Is there a door here? What, what, what? Ah. Uh, could probably build a door. I'm just gonna get rid of this slime, then I'm gonna have a look through my crafting options. Do, 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 do. I, okay, I like, I, I, Guide? Zombie. Uh, zombie's bad. <laughs> zombie's very bad. They can jump. Oh no. Okay, well that's okay. I'll just sit here and swing. <laughs> I'm just gonna like swing, swing, swing to my heart's content. They have a lot of health, jeez. Alright, so why is my craft why can I only make two things from crafting now? Why is that? Why why can I only make two things from crafting now? It's dirt and stone. Why what what's happened to all my like oh I have no wood. That's why So I have to go on a little expedition to get some wood. So that's, that's, you know, this is pretty Minecrafty. I, I do like, okay, I do like the fact that you can see everything that you can build. And, you know, Minecraft does need a little in-game, um, here's how you craft things. What the heck was that? Why did this place suddenly light up then? <laughs> and Minecraft does need uh, some kind of in-game, um, here's what you can craft. Because at the moment it's really not that good for beginners, because you know, you have to go to the wikis in order to know anything that you can do. So that's one thing I think this game's got right. Um, oh, what, I'm really liking this game. Honestly, I am. Um, I foresee many great adventures in the world of Terraria. Uh, get, get, die, zombie. Did the zombies drop anything? I don't think they have so far. At least I've not noticed if they have. Definitely not noticed if they have. Oh, they got... Is that a coin? Its head comes off. It's pretty gruesome, actually. Okay, but there's no trees anywhere. I've managed to successfully deforest this whole area. I'm starting to think that maybe building my house two, uh, two blocks wide. What the heck are you? Demon Eye. No. I'm just going to stand here, I'm going to swing, and you're not going to get anywhere near me. That's how this relationship's going to work, mate. Get down here. Yep, die. Come on. Come on, you're gonna die. That's that's a really creepy enemy. <laughs> Apparently there's a lot more enemies and items than there are in Minecraft, which I'm all for. I think it's gonna be super interesting. I've managed to make I've just cut him in half. 